It's a placid night in the Crystal Catacombs, this mystical terrarium kingdom of my pet yellow crazy ants. In just five months since the creation of these great lands, the ants living here have settled in and ordained this place as their royal home. But guys, if you think this looks awesome, wait until you see what these lands look like as soon as the sun rises on this hypnotic rocky planet of caves and glowing crystals. The crystal catacombs here transforms into a world that will blow your mind. I know you guys will love all the amazing things I have to show you. Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC family. Enjoy. The sun rises on the crystal catacombs and the ants of the Golden Empire are awakening to go about their various tasks of the day. It had just rained in the lands prior to sunrise, and the ants were enjoying their newly moistened soils. Springtail scurried across the rocky surface, and suddenly, a worker comes by to recruit other ants to help it with something. Guys, we need some help northwest of the nest. Come by if you're free. Select ants rushed in to assist. Can you guess what the big news is northwest of the nest? Leave your guesses in the comments, and let's see if you're right. I'll give you a clue though, it's not a cockroach. I've been feeding this colony a surplus of chopped up roaches over the past year in order to get their numbers up, and also help them rehabilitate from a plague of mites. And I'm happy to announce, the colony has bounced back gloriously and are mite free. I estimate the colony has grown in numbers to about 500,000 to a million or so workers now with the bulk of them hanging out inside their nest, inside the darkened caves, which also makes it harder for me to count them. But I'm trying to let them fast from roaches for a day or two, so they feed cum gusto when I do give them their next roach. Now for those of you AC family who've been following the Golden Empire from back when I had them in an AC hybrid nest setup, as you saw, there were many, many queens in this colony. They're a polygynous species, which basically just means they allow multiple queens in a single nest. But I was grateful to know that somewhere in those caves, the queens were healthy, prolific, laying lots of eggs, and adding to the colony's numbers. Now check this out, AC family. These ants loitering around the entrances to the nest are of course guarding the openings to ensure no trespassers or predators attempt to infiltrate their domain. Though these yellow crazy ants don't sting and can't really harm an adult human, don't underestimate them. Yellow crazy ants have been known to leave dogs blind with their formic acid sprays. The Golden Empire has a very powerful acid defense response if they need it. But a predator or trespasser is not the thing that lies northwest of the nest that requires assistance. Let's move on. Now you may have been wondering about these little squirrel-like critters called springtails roaming the lands. These amazing creatures belonging to the subclass Columbola are soil friends to the ants. The ants never quite bother the springtails, as both parties go about their various business. And you better believe these springtails, which we on the channel have named the spring cleaners, indeed have a very important business to tend to in the crystal catacombs. As the name that we the AC family gave them suggests, these springtails are cleaners. They're essentially the janitors of the crystal catacombs, which is why the Golden Empire appreciates having them around. They eat leftover scraps from the insect parts the ants leave behind after meals, as well as the potentially harmful molds that grow on the ants' garbage. They even keep the beds of moss pristine and clean of mold growth. I find them to be very thorough at cleaning up, Scientists have called them springtails because of their ability to spring away if needed with the help of an appendage attached to their tails. Here you can see springtails of various ages and sizes scuttling about. It's the adults in particular that can be quite territorial over food and space though. So feisty. Taking on the important roles of scavengers, fungivores and detritivores, the springtails are essential to any soil ecosystem. Aside from cleanup, their poop goes on to nourish the plants and mosses of the lands. And as you can see, even the hardy rockweed stalks appear to be benefiting from them being around. If you're wondering how the springtails got here in the first place, they appeared and established themselves from just a few originating members that must have come in with the soils I used in the terrarium. 
I find healthy populations of springtails, like this, just seem to establish naturally over time in a terrarium, as the soil community matures. I personally love how cute, silvery, and fuzzy they look. How about you, AC family? But lo and behold, it doesn't seem like the springtails are quick to rush northwest. So you can bet a dead roach or garbage disposal is not the big thing the ants need some help with. Let's finally move to the northwest of the tank. Nearby, a crowd of ants were busy finishing off some sweet orange jelly. Check out how fat that worker is! Ants come here, fill up their social stomachs, then regurgitate their collections to other ants to disseminate the food mouth to mouth to the rest of the colony, a process called trophallaxis. A couple of the ants stand guard, making sure no trespassers come by to steal their sweet goodies. But this jelly cup is also not what the ants need help with either. In fact, the ants have been working on this jelly cup over the past two days now, and are about to finish it off, and are pretty much done soon. So guys, are you ready to see the big thing located in the northwest that the colony needs some help with? Well, AC family, it's this. A new jelly cup. Sorry, not a super exciting reveal, but it is exciting for the ants. As we saw in an experiment we conducted last year, ants have preferences for different flavors, and this strawberry flavor happens to be the Golden Empire's favorite at the moment. A mass of workers came gathering around the jelly to gorge themselves on the sweet goods. Ants were even eager to lick the sweet droplets that had fallen onto the rocks. When I placed the jelly cup in, I could watch ants feeding on food they love for hours. I find ant watching to be super relaxing and gratifying. How about you guys? I find it's kind of like watching a little society. There's always something new and exciting to discover every time I come to visit the ant colony. I truly hope you enjoyed this tour of the Crystal Catacombs AC family. For those of you who are ant keepers or ant keeper wannabes, queen ants are now flying like crazy in the northern hemisphere. So be sure to look out for pregnant queen ants flying now outside to start your own ant colonies. It's actually not that hard to find a queen ant. In fact, you can catch them in your own backyard, open window, or balcony. In North America, a lot of you are tagging me on social media, showing me photos of the Campanatus queens you are all catching. Congrats! And guys, if you're keeping pet ants, be sure to visit AntsCanada.com for all your ant keeping gear and easy to use ant farm starter kits that I use in my videos on this channel, shipped to you in a special package from our ant loving facility in the USA. Our ant farms help you get the most out of your ant keeping experience. We ship worldwide and also offer full email support if you need our help. We also have a helpful forum and ant colony trading marketplace on the site, so visit AntsCanada.com today. Until the next time we return to the wondrous world of the Crystal Catacombs, the epic terrarium home of our once again thriving Golden Empire, thank you for watching and supporting the ants. It's ant love forever. AC family, did you enjoy today's episode? So much more is ahead for the ants of the Antiverse and Antopia, so if you haven't yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and bell icon now and hit all so you get notified at every upload. Also, don't forget to hit the like button every single time, including now. It would really mean a lot to me, guys. Thank you. AC and her colony, I've left a hidden cookie for you here. If you would like to see extended play footage of the Golden Empire enjoying their strawberry jelly cup, it's super gratifying to watch, so go check it out. And now it's time for the AC question of the week. Last week, we asked, what does reticulated mean? Congratulations to T. Vienna, who answered, marked like a net. Congratulations, T. Vienna. You just won a free ultimate ant keeping handbook from our shop. In this week's AC question of the week, we ask, why are springtails called springtails? Leave your answer in the comment section and you could also win a free ultimate ant keeping handbook from our shop. Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's ant love forever.